Hello. You will probably spend most of your life working to make rich people even richer. So today in RimWorld, it should come across as no surprise our first quest. Fabia Palalogos, a yeoman of the Imperium of Z, is being chased by over 10 raiders. Yes, over 10 raiders. The Imperials will not do any work and will be angry for the most time. As a reward, if we fulfill their goals, they'll like us more. That's right, they'll like us more. So as in real life, the rewards are twisted. And with some rare thrombos wandering through the region, I figure there's enough things that these raiders might run into. So let's just accept. Here come the Imperials. All right, they're going to be terribly upset for most of their time here, so just uh... Well, I don't really plan on this raid going well. I really just want the raiders to come in more and upset them. Ideally, if the raiders come in, they'll contain some colonist we can imprison and bring into our colony. Look, already they're, they have absurd expectations about how good everything will be in the darkness and the cold. As it happens, I expect them all to just be very unhappy by the time they leave, but now they'll take matters into their own hands and we'll join them. Oh wow, they're really using up all of our substances available. Ah, here comes the first one. They have a bi ah, bio-coated monosword. What did you pass out of? Hypothermia? Very well. Now we're being sieged. And now we take matters into our own hands. This is where I use all of their warriors for their strength. All right, come my people, begin the assault. Now we look for an enemy to take captive. This is the real whole point of doing this. Psychopath, psychically deaf with a great memory. Vort would be very good, but also is in cave. Nope. This guy is very good. This guy is very good. This person is pretty good just because of Jogger. I need a hauler. But as the old saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So while we stay at home and defend our land, we'll let our rich henchmen do all of the work here. And not only that, but they'll actually fire on the mechanoids to help me. I think that was an inaccurate na aim at our guardians? Whatever it is, these guys will just disappear. They're pretty much disposable to me. But there goes one. Here goes the next wall segment, and that'll open up the mechs to them. Good, now the raiders should start to face off against the mechs. There goes another. And here it comes. Please don't hit my people. Anything but my people. Ah, uh, they did hit one on our base. Where is that going? Eh, ooh. Oh, for God's sake, please stop firing at the base. And they're setting up another siege over here. Okay, this one we might actually have to fight. Okay, come, my people. I do not want to get sieged. Just one more wall segment here, and then we're ready. All right, you go help with the other siege. And that looked accurate. All right, we'll leave Brog at home to put out the fires. Our people will deal with this raid over here. And the mechs will deal with the raiders over there. Okay, go back, my people. Why, why do you fall? Okay, run. Run the hell away. And get back to base. Get back to base, baby. I don't want them. I don't want them. No. Don't shoot that. Oh, that's so immoral. Not honorable. Run the hell away. Look, the nobles are just sitting in the base. They won't even flick the turret switches. They can't be bothered. Oh, for God's sake, these people are insufferable. These ones are assaulting the colony. Let them. Here they come. They're in the base. Termites walking again. Termites, just go hide. Go hide, baby. Braga, you're drafted. Flick that switch. Get over here. Hide in there. Looks like they're burning in their own fire now. These ones are just assaulting the mechs. Looks like now they're wrapped up with our Greeks. And we just have to prevent this guy from good. No Molotovs. Thank you very much. None of that. None of that right now. We destroyed enough of our own walls. Now Porthos is the only one left. Stop throwing grenades. You know, you just go do something else, Braga. And we'll use the last of these Greeks to defend us. I've had it with these royals. These 20v2 fights are just... Oh, here comes more. If I... If some sniper is coming in. Ooh, run. Careful there. Careful, he's dead. Top here, go in next. Take a shot at him and take him down. Looks like they pretty much broke even with the mechs. One of our Greeks is being captured or something. Take her down. Jesus. The other Greek is being captured too. Orange and Owl will go out after the others. What are they even going to do with them? We have one guy named Boots. Or we have one woman named Boots who survived. We might use her as a socialite. Or whatever, for whatever reason. Orange and Owl made out okay, not really hurt. The Greeks are now captured, and I guess these turrets will take out the rest of them. These ones remaining aren't very good. Leo, how are you? He's not very good. All right, then it's Boots. You're uh, gonna have to join our faction now, I suppose, with all of the stuff that's wrong with you. Salus was kidnapped. Well, goodbye, Salus. You. You did your job, you too. All of you other Greeks. The royals are fine. Are, have they been in a good mood? Yeah, they're in a pretty good mood. You know, we might actually succeed at this quest. 
despite the fact that all three of the royal guards were kidnapped. And the shuttle has arrived. Great, like I said, you'll spend most of your life working for rich people. Let's have them all get into the shuttle and forget about all of this. Just suffering and death always lies in their wake. And we got a free sniper rifle out of this, as well as a prisoner here. This prisoner might actually survive. She has a reprocessor stomach. If that doesn't work out, we'll just take that. Well, she'll be okay in the cold. We might actually take her just as a normal prisoner. Goodbye, Royals. I hope you enjoyed your stay here. Uh, fortunately, we can now reclaim half of the map that we lost over the years. And these rifles are bio-coded though, so we can't take them, but we can smelt them down. On top of all that, we now have two mortars we can repurpose and bring back to our base. Why are they just unhappy? They're in their own shuttle now. Get in your own goddamn shuttle. Send it off. Goodbye. Goodbye, shuttle. Average mood was 55%. So they're in... The goodwill increased by three. Ah, excellent. Progress with the Imperium of Z. They like us now a little bit. And all it took was just tens of deaths and a lot, countless amount... Countless human suffering. Plus, we have a new prisoner out of this whole ordeal. The gear's not bad, and this prisoner actually might be useful. Tons of resistance, but this will give us a chance to train social. And she is pretty social herself. Although she is pretty messed up from that entire ordeal. The base, despite a few fires and other things, seems to be mostly alright. They did take out a few hydroponics basins, I'm noticing, in the middle. They must have shot right around here. And it looks like the roof is caved in. We also lost a wall to our bedroom. Oh, and the wall opened up as well. Alright, nothing to see here. We'll just put some wood there. Unfortunately, the muffalo have now picked a fight with a polar bear, so it's time to put down the polar bear. Oh, Jesus. That was horrible. Can you imagine being attacked by a polar bear? Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, he was rended by that polar bear's claws. It'll be fine. As was Muffalo. Muffalo 5 got effed up. That was like the dad Muffalo trying to protect the youth. Her arm was shredded by frag grenades. She'll likely recover from that, as well as the gunshot. She was bruised all over her torso by various firearms. She has a reprocessor stomach, which is quite nice. Basically, she won't be as much of a, you know, Basically, she won't have to eat as much, and she'll still be sated. Minor hard artery blockage. Various just cracked and shredded bones and flesh. But now she has this permanent crack from a heavy SMG. It was pretty bad. She got uh, hit with, um, well, a bullet to her spine. That's never really a good thing. Hopefully her moving will still go up to a decent level, though, because I want to use this pawn for uh, hauling... <laughs> Hauling, believe it or not. Eventually, I do want her to carry things around the base and, you know, trade with traders, but obviously we've got a lot of blood on our hands right now. We also just need to reuse these people. I mean, I don't see why they should go to waste, right? If they attacked our camp, they might as well become part of our camp. You get it? Become part of our camp because we're literally going to use them to help fuel our... It's... Another very dark joke. We have a new quest. Oh, I love these quests, how they're going. Oh, here comes the Imperium of Z again, making another request. The Imperium of Z wants to send some rats to us, after which two mech clusters of two times size will deploy nearby. I'm gonna say no, I usually I prefer the raids. We're set up for raids, so... We're gonna wait on this one and see if we need to use it later. I just don't want a psychic drone driving everyone crazy. If it were a raid, I would say yes. I'm a nice guy. I, I allow... I make many allowances. And look at all of that stuff piling up. Jesus. Ah, uh, here comes another one. Mm. So many more people, I've forgotten it. Wait, no, you don't mind, I don't wanna. Eh, you know, they're rifle gang members, it's fine. Yeah, orange. Um, it's more blood for the blood god, I suppose. There we are, there's going to be quite a hefty sum out of this one. Ah, Boots is fully healed and now walking. She gets 90% of her move speed, so she can't get away as quickly if she tries to escape. Um, might try to break out of prison, probably will, in fact, before this whole endeavor is over. But, you know, not unhappy in her cell. Uh, pretty happy that many of her rivals have died, that's a buff. Just a few she considered friends. I'm willing to say that this colonist, uh, could do well here. Uh, you know, as a social person, as well as, uh, as a, uh, hauler. I need- desperately need a hauler, and the resistance is going down fast with Tapir making many efforts at being friendly. Even Termite is getting in there for some recruitment attempts. Now down to 19.4, we'll have her down in no time. The, the thing is that this cell is all considered just one cell right now, and since it's for one person, 
She feels pretty good in this. Another mech hive raiding. Not a particularly large one though, and we happen to have a royal tribute collector here right now, so they'll probably just fend them off for us. There don't seem to be any in our base itself, so... Yeah, we're safe. We get to have the royal tribute collectors fight the mechs for us. Love it when you can face off your enemies against your other enemies. I think it's the only two mechs. That was quite a large scale battle before, so it's... A nice relief here to have just a few mechs. See, oh my god, that was a mono sword. Very cool, very nice. And maybe they'll even go after those other mechs there too. Look, yes, they're going up to the top. Oh, wonderful, these tribute collectors have done such a great job. Thank you, royal tribute collectors. You can come in and collect a tribute anytime. Ah, uh, yes. I was just planning on doing that, but, you know, this is far more convenient. We'll take all of your things. This guy's left little toe was shot off, no. Perhaps we can save him. It'll make the Imperium of Z like us more anyway. The map is ours to be explored once again. Let's see if we can save this man's life. Just get Orange to do some last minute doctoring here. Nothing so great. He just lost his little toe and he got shot in the head. He also happens to have a wake up addiction. This isn't great, but he'll be better in no time. Combat supplier. And Chumnos is now capable of walking again. He's fully healed. Now at long last, Termite and Braga are to be married in the... If Termite will just stop playing pool, they'll be married. Um, oh, that's really nice. I... Wait, that's the marriage spot. Oh. All right, very well. They stare into each other's eyes. They're talking about cooking with carrots, and I guess that's how they get married. Wait, they didn't even talk. Well, they were chatting about hauling when they got married. Okay, I... It's a innuendo or something. Very well. There are libations on that shelf. That's all that we have for you to do. Everyone will be just in an astoundingly good mood for days. Hey, our impre our relations with Imperium of Z improved from that Chumnos's exit. That's why we'll call him Chum Yes. Ah, oh, fuck. Mysterious influence will kill all plants. Oh, this is BS. This ship doesn't matter. There's no plants here. That's totally fine. It's- it gets to like a- No, we'll be fine. We have many days and these aren't even that powerful. There's some events that just don't affect you at all in the Arctic. As much as a pain as it's been, the Arctic is also a wonderful place because many events just don't affect you. Devil Strand from the sky? Ah, oh, both goods. Ah, oh, this is another boon. Except they won't come into the base. For God's sake, I need that. And you can have all of this. And a lot of this. It's a good deal. Goodbye. Progress. Ah, uh, Brog is finally done with most of his tasks and now on to smelting. Here's where we get the lion's share of steel. And now we've got the last of the space ready to make several more hydroponics basins. This is the maximization of our planting zone. And now we remove the last of the resistance from our prisoner. Recruitment attempts can begin. Another raid. Ah, uh, it's the red worm Mara. Let's see if they have any good colonists. This guy's good. Uh, that's okay. Mm, yes. Yes. No. Yeah. Maybe. Possibly. Yes. Some of these colonists are rather good. If some of them survive, I'd like to take a prisoner or two. We just haven't had a tribal raid in a while either. It's like a, it's like a big gift. All right, enter the circle of life. And also, it happens to be of death. We'll just flick these switches, these completely normal switches. And here they come. Here come our esteemed guests. Hopefully, some of them will survive long enough to... Wow, look, they don't even... Where are they trying to go? What are they... What are they even going for? I've never tried one of these kill circles, you know? All right, no ears lost or anything from the bows. That's what you would normally worry about. Okay, Pelican survived. Body purist and masochist. You know, we'll, we'll nab him, because why not? We're gonna need more people. Boots has joined us. Great, we have a new refaction member. All right, that gives Pelican the entire barracks. And Boots can now be a dedicated hauler. Hauler and warden, that's what I need from Boots. Pretty much just those two functions. And she'll get her own bed. Oh, it's just about that time again. Okay, here we are again. My fear of robot overlords is driving me to this. I'll just send these people back here and... Now, you two will have to be in the line of fire. Uh, you go for the pikemen, you go for the pikemen, and you go for them. And then everyone else just stand very far back. We've got that good, a stun, and another stun. Okay, now we've got to make this work. Keep throwing stun grenades. Keep shooting them. There's one. Okay, be careful. No need to throw that there anymore. Run up. Ah, uh, here we are. Okay. Now get the back one, get the back one, and everyone else go in. Shoot that, gentlemen. You stand back. Careful, don't get friendly fired here. Okay, just keep it. Oh, shit. It's, uh, damn. Okay, careful, careful, careful. Okay. Well, let's take this thing out. It's killing the plants, for God's sake. 900, 800. 
Isn't this good teamwork? Everyone lends a hand. The robots are defeated. What's in this thing too? Just plasteel. Oh, and a bulk goods trader. Well, that's nice. Unfortunately, our social person is having a tantrum right now. Please don't break anything expensive. Again, we'll just buy a whole buttload of slate. There we are. And they sent it out here. That's fine. We'll just build the rest in slate. And we can double up on our entrances. I think we're at like 1100 slate. More than enough to do the rest of this construction. Well, this pelican should be fairly easy to recruit. He's only got five resistance. Uh, a majestic Greek a geese migration. Here they come through the land. I would do something horrible. I just think it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of funny. There's, there are geese in the North Pole. Maybe after I finish building this wall. Goodbye, geese. Happy trails. Happy trails, geese. I think Orange is going to have some more work to do ahead of him. This is really bringing down everyone's mood. And there we are. That's just about the last of them. My god, the pile just keeps growing. I mean, how can you even step around in here? Just look at all of the tainted clothing. Well, this is weird. Pelican came with a peg leg on him, but he's also a body purist, so he wanted the peg leg off of him. Orange had inspired surgery, so this was a kind of a win. We're gonna put it back on him when he becomes one of ours, though. Um, he- we have plenty of other things to keep him happy, though, so. Despite the fact that he can move at only, uh, 15% of the speed, uh, he's getting that peg leg back pretty soon, I can assure you. Now that he's happy in bed. Here we are, this should be a successful recruitment. We've got a 100% recruitment chance now, anyway. Tapir has convinced Pelican to join. Pelican has 50% moving, but we need Pelican to be a hauler, so we're also going to just reinstall a peg leg on Pelican. Every- like, half of the people in this colony have a pe left peg leg. Okay, Orange. Add back on that peg leg. Here we are, stop throwing up on the floor. Oh, let's clean up that vomit. And here goes nothing. Here comes the operation. Please don't hate me forever. Ah, oh, I didn't fail. That would have been really bad for their social relationship like it has been. Okay. Okay, Pelican is miserable with a peg leg now, but at least he can move faster. Well, our colony's grown significantly. Now we have lots of construction, double walls, dedicated haulers, two of them. And it seems that our initial colonists can go about their tasks much faster than they used to be able to. Our base is a fortress now. Only problem is that people can still launch in from the sky, and there's not much we can do about that. So the last move for today will really just be a matter of fortifying our inner circle. Here comes another mechanoid cluster. Uh, it's just a weather controller. Ha! That's not bad at all. There's a little more to be done for today, but I think that that's enough. Our colony is bustling with growth now. No longer do we rely upon growth of plants or even colonist labor. Now it's really just a matter of getting back to the research we always dreamt of. Bionic implants. Yes, we're going to become cyborgs. That's probably going to be the next step. I'm tired of playing Rimworld the way that you're supposed to by going off into space. It's great here on Earth and I love our colony. So that's right. I'm going to make my colonists into gigantic cybernetic organisms and I can't wait. It'll be a delight, an absolute delight. Join me then for that. This base is starting to look more complete now. Not complete, but more complete. Oh shit, somebody just, our visitors woke up the mechs. Well, I don't know. I imagine that we'll wait until we just get larger and larger mech raids until eventually they do wipe us out because it's bound to happen at some point and I can't wait for that fight. Until then, we'll just- we'll just deal with the ever-impinging thread of mechanoids coming closer and closer in on our frontiers. Until then, many thanks. A blessed thanks goes out to my patrons. You are the peg legs I rely upon in the Arctic. And to those of you watching, thanks. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Goodbye.